today, Tuesday, February 2nd, 2021, the Ministry of Health and Wellness recorded 68 new cases of COVID-19 in the country. This is from a total of 900 COVID-19 samples tested by the Ezra Long Laboratory. These positive results are derived from testing done on Sunday, January 31st and Monday, February 1st, 2021. This is from a total of 900 COVID-19 samples processed by the Ezra Long Laboratory, of which 832 are negative. The sample period ranges from January 22nd to January 31st, 2021. The Ezra Long Laboratory is working to reduce the present backlog of samples. All of the cases are St. Lucia nationals who range in age from 7 to 75 years and are from Grosley Castries. Miku, Babano, Ancillary, Viewfort, and the Denry districts. They were tested at various points of care and placed in quarantine by health practitioners while awaiting their COVID-19 test results. Arrangements are now being made for the placement of these individuals into isolation. Yesterday, Monday, February 1st, 2021, the Ministry of Health and Wellness received confirmation of its 16th COVID-19 related death. The individual is a 61-year-old male from the Castries district with multiple underlying illnesses. He had presented to a healthcare facility where he was tested for COVID-19. On Wednesday, January 20, 2021, he was admitted at the respiratory hospital and passed away on February 1, 2021. The Ministry of Health extends sympathy to the family and loved ones of this individual. The Ministry of Health and Wellness also reports the recovery of 79 cases of COVID-19. This brings a total number of active cases in country to 749. Two cases remain in critical care and the others in hospital and home-based care are all stable. The total number of cases diagnosed in country to date stands at 1,470. We remind everyone that COVID-19 is a flu-like illness with the common signs and symptoms being cough, fever, chills, loss of smell and taste, nausea, as well as an overall feeling of tiredness. An individual can also experience shortness of breath or difficulty breathing. Anyone experiencing these symptoms need to seek care at the closest community respiratory clinic. The Ministry of Health and Wellness will continue providing updates as new information becomes available.